Hi, this is Maya with RICO. This video today is how to sample in relativity. Sampling generates a random sample of records from a larger set of documents. You can use that sample to QC or identify characteristics of a larger data set. So you might use this to QC a set of productions, to kick off or validate an active learning set, and uh, here's how to make one. So your sampling icon is at the top right hand corner of the screen when you mouse over it says sampling. If you don't see this icon, talk to your case admin, they'll be able to add that for you. You can see we have three options for sampling. We have fixed, we can specify a specific number of records that we want to see. We can use percentage, we can define our percentage of records, and statistical. The statistical um, sample set will generate a random sample based on a calculation which determines how many items your reviewers will need to look at or review to get results that ac accurately reflect the entire data set. So this is recommended for larger data sets. You can see here we've got a filter of about 12,000 items for our review eligible set. And um, if you had any results that were less than 300, you might get some unexpected results. So here we can select our confidence level and margin of error, and we select the sample button here. Relativity will create our sample set, and then we'll be able to save it as a list. Here's our report at the top in case we forgot what settings we used. And here's the option for clearing the sample when we're done um, tagging these documents as a list. You can see at the bottom, we don't have the option to save this as a search. Relativity asks us to use the list item, save as list. For a little more info on how to save documents and use lists, check out our other YouTube video on our YouTube site. So I'm going to create a new list. I'm going to make some notes to myself about what settings I used. You can also obviously use this to keep track of any other piece of info about this list. And I hit save and now we've tagged our list and we can query that in a saved search, in a filter, and we can use that to batch our documents for our reviewers to start taking a look at the document set. So that's how to make samples and how to tag them and refer to them later. Thanks so much for joining me today. Happy reviewing.